Hey, greetings subscribers. This is Jeff here from eBay Addicts. So today um, I'm going to show you guys the title of the video is going to be $20 let go uh, video game grab bag. And so um, this guy, I ended up buying all these video games from, I think he was asking originally 50 bucks for all these games. And I know some of you guys are wanting to know, well, how did you get him to go from 50 down to 20 bucks? Well, I'll tell you. Um, so I'm going to talk to you guys today about a, a negotiation tactic that I use because it didn't happen overnight. I've been negotiating with this guy for a week. So I would look on let go and I saw his ad has been up for like six months. He hasn't had any, any, you know, anybody really interested in this item. And so I sent him a message. And so the first thing I did is I sent him a message and I'm like, Hey, uh, I'm interested. Do you still have this item available? And then he messaged me back and he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, how many, uh, video games do you have total? And even though I can clearly see what the asking price is on his title, I just ask anyways. And I say, and what is your asking price? What are you asking for him? And he's like, well, I have 18 video games and I'm asking $50. And I'm like, okay, thanks. Then I go on about my day. Then a day or two passes, I send him another message to say, hey, do you still have these video games available? And he says, yeah. And I said, well, I'm interested in buying them. What, what's the best deal you can do? And he's like, well, how about 40 bucks for everything? So which would have been about $2 per video game, right? So then I'm like, okay, thanks. And then I, he doesn't hear back from me. I don't reach out to him. Another day or two passes. I send him a message and say, hey, uh, do you still have these video games available? And he's like, yeah. And I said, well, what's the, can, what's the best deal that you can do in these games? And he's like, well, $30 is like the lowest that I can do on all these video games. And I don't respond with my offer. I just say, okay, thanks. Then today, a couple of days later, I send him a message and I say, hey, do you still have these video games available? And he says, yeah. And I said, well, can you do 20 bucks? And he's like, well, can you do 25? And I'm like, no, man, some of these games you have are like older sports games. I'm not really all that interested. This is the best deal I can do is for 20 bucks. And he's like, okay, cool. I've been wanting to sell these games for a while. Come by and pick them up. So I call this move. It's almost like, have you ever seen one of those boxing movies where the boxer comes in and he jabs the guy in the chest? He's like, boom, boom, boom. And you're jabbing the guy in the chest and then you run away. You like stick and run. Or it's, I call it putting a guy on ice. So you send him a message. Said, you're like, you know, you're interested, but you're not going out full bore, you know, shooting a $20 offer. You're getting him to come down because I got him to come down from 50 all the way down to 20. And I didn't come up on my price at all. I kind of did like a little bit of a negotiation tactic. So anyways, that's what I call it. Kind of putting the guy on ice. You send the guy a message and you just kind of chill, wait for a minute, wait a day or two, you know, send him another message. You know, you're kind of like lukewarm interested, but you're not like super mad interested in this guy's offer where you're going to take the first offer he shoots at you so i'll show you everything that i end up getting this is call of duty modern warfare 3 xbox one this one is nba 2k 18 xbox one this one is nba 2k 17 xbox one this is gears of war 4 xbox one this one is assassin's creed unity xbox one this one is halo 5 xbox one it's in a different case this one is Battlefield 4, Xbox 360. And this one is, if I can grab it, UFC Undisputed 2010 with Brock Lesnar on the cover, Xbox 360. This one is Amazing Spider-Man, Xbox 360. And this one is WWE 2K16 with Stone Cold on the cover. And this one here is Madden 2016. This one is Destiny, uh, Xbox 360. This one is Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection, Xbox 360. This is Forza Motorsports 2 and Ultimate Alliance, Xbox 360. This one is Madden, uh, no, NBA Live uh, 10. This one is NBA 2K16. This is why I bought this whole package. This is Madden Xbox 360 2017. And I know it's just an old sports game, but this is selling on eBay for 40 bucks. And I learned about this from watching one of my fellow YouTubers, Chase, from Chase After the Right Price. And I actually watched his videos. And if you haven't seen his videos, they're awesome. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the comments section today. He buys and sells a lot of video games. And he was saying, hey, if you see Madden 17, he said, this is the last Madden game they made on Xbox 360. If you see it for a buck or two, pick it up. So basically I paid a dollar for this and it's going to sell on eBay for 40 bucks. And this is the last game that I got was Legos Marvel Superheroes Xbox 360. 
So here's how we did. We spent $20 for the video games, 20 bucks divided by 18 games. They came to a dollar and 11 cents each out the door. Um, I did, I was going to guesstimate and think my return was going to be around $200. That's what I thought all this stuff would sell for. I scanned them all individually and it came to $185 return on my $20 investment. So we're still probably going to make about $150 uh, profit after all that's said and done after I pay my fees and everything, which isn't bad for, you know, for a $20 investment and I only had to drive 20 minutes down the street. So anyways, guys, this is just a short video. I didn't get that much merchandise. I just got 18 games. I just wanted to let you know, uh, my, uh, negotiation tactic of sticking and moving and kind of put the guy on ice. Don't, don't just act like you're lukewarm interested and then kind of negotiate with them. And maybe if it takes two, three, four or five days to get the price you want, it's worth it. Cause now instead of paying 50 bucks, I only paid $20 and I'm getting the game for around a dollar a piece instead of paying two, $3 a piece for the same games and so also be on the lookout for this game it's a madden nfl 17 for xbox 360 it's the last madden game made for the 360 and like i said even if you find a copy of it used it's worth 40 bucks on ebay so if you can find it for a dollar i would grab it and uh, i'm not for sure if i'm gonna have a video out tomorrow because it's easter and everything is going to be shut down for the holiday so if i do get a local deal i'll post it for you if not everyone have a happy easter and i'll see you in the next one ebay addicts peace out and you guys have a great holiday weekend. Bye.